Hello. Good evening, uh, Council. My name is Travis McKenzie. I'm a co-founder of Project Feed the Hood and executive director of an organization called Grow the Future. Uh, it's an honor to be here tonight. I'm in support of M-14-3 for labeling genetically modified organisms. I've dedicated my life to cultivating community health through organic agriculture and to fight <clears throat> to care for our families, communities, and for our sacred mother earth. I've dedicated many years of my life to studying the dangers and problems with GMOs and the corporations that produce these chemical petroleum-based crops that are polluting our planet and poisoning our people and the ecosystems of our Mother Earth. It's important to label GMOs because as a citizen and consumer in this city, we have a right to know what is in the products that we consume. GMO crops and the corporations who produce them do not care for the health and well-being of our planet or our people. I hope Albuquerque stands up and protects its citizens and chooses to label GMO products and goods for the health and well-being of our families and for our communities. Beyond that, I hope Albuquerque makes a valiant effort to support local organic agriculture and not to support GMOs. Support our local organic farmers. Organic agriculture can create jobs, health, strengthen our local economy. Albuquerque can stand up and become one of the most sustainable and environmentally friendly cities in the Southwest, and I hope you guys will choose to take precedence and support M143. Please label GMO products because we have the right to know. There are many countries who have banned genetic uh, modified organisms and the products. Um, there's millions of people marching this Saturday uh, in solidarity against GMO products and goods, and so I ask you uh, to protect the families and communities of the city of Albuquerque, as we have a right to know what's in the products that we consume. Thank you, Mr. Yeah. President. Thank you, Mr. McKenzie. And thank you for the work you do in the community. Thank you. Uh, Councilor, Councilor President, uh, well, President at the time, I think, uh, Jones and I supported a uh, community gardens initiative and uh, resolution that passed. And it was mainly saying that we want people to grow food and know where food comes from. And that is absolutely in concert with what you're asking for. What we want is people to know what they have in front of them and not either a pop bottle or a whatever, a bag of popcorn, that no one knows what's in it. And no one's saying you can't sell it, but if you're going to sell it, tell me what it is. And I think that's what you're asking, is that correct? Definitely, and there's a lot of research to show that GMOs are actually uh, creating health disparities across the world and that uh, we should take the precedence to at least know what's in these foods that we're feeding our children, our elderly, you know, with the daily products that we consume day to day. There's labels for gluten-free, for other things, and this is a health concern for millions of people, so I really hope that you guys will stand in support of M143. And just a quick announcement, we could put a little bit more. It's very important for people to know that when folks like Therese are out in the community growing food so that children know where food comes from, that it's important for them to know that that is pure, good, or 